Hi. How are you? So right now I'm outside and I'll do some street photography. A uh, few hours back, I mean one hour back, it was raining heavily and now the it's over. So most of the chances that I'll get so many puddles to get some good reflection shot. And still the weather is really overcast, so diffuse light. So right now I'm using ND filter on my lens so that I can record the video properly or I can get the long exposure shot also. So without further delay, let's go and let's get some shot. So I was shooting from Sigma 16mm f1.4 and now I will switch to 56mm f1.4 and get some portrait photos and close ups. So I got the, some reflection with some puddle using some puddle which I will show you later. Now let's switch to 56mm and let's get some photos. almost the area which I thought of and I have to take a time lapse shot but there is a problem and the problem is it's a too much trees are here and I thought of taking a full landscape shot of there is actually a, there is a salt lake and the buildings are far from here so I thought we will get very good long exposure shot or the timeless but there are too much trees here so I'm thinking I have to change the lens to 56 mm and then I have to compress it and take the time lapse shot so I'll take the time lapse shot you watch it and after the time lapse I'll see you in the studio hi how are you all good my name is Anurag and welcome to shadow photography if you are new to this channel I will recommend you to subscribe the channel so that you won't miss any of my photography and videography content so for today's photography I used my Sony a6400 and I used two lenses today with this camera one is Sigma 16mm f1.4 DCD-N this are and second is the Sigma 56mm f1.4 DCD and both lenses are contemporary lens and both are made for APS-C sensor. So if I have to convert it into full frame equivalent then 16mm lens is 24mm full frame equivalent and 56mm uh, lens is uh, 84mm or you can round off in the standard uh, focal length of lens to so 85mm focal uh, full frame equivalent usually i shoot during golden hour or night hours 
but uh, this I gave a try to this afternoon photography so actually previously it was very harsh sunlight but afterward the weather became overcast so yeah but it was still very much light was outside too much light so yeah it was fun it was good so I got good photos which will review together so without further delay let's start so here is the first photo and you can see it's a reflection shot I took in landscape mode and actually it is a bus stand and the uh, you know uh, I said you earlier also that it became rain and after that uh, you know the weather was overcast so I got the puddle and I got this really cool reflection and you know normally uh, clouds were also present in the sky so there were no negative space in this photo so yeah all over the photo looks really good and i shot it from my 16mm sigma lens so yeah it was a wide angle wide angle view so good photo the second photo you can see uh, you know a person is standing with his bike on the signal but you know this photo is really simple but this photo is different because i have tried to shoot this photo uh, from something you know to create the depth i chose the foreground and i focused on the background so that whole fo foreground is blur so you know this shows the depth of the subject so you can see yes there is a distance between it let's see the third photo and the third photo is this see this person was walking towards me so i saw him and i just you know sat on the road not exactly sat on the road but i was focused my camera on him this person was looking me so you know the actually the problem was on street photography it happens that many person stares you so you get confused at whether i took his or her photo or not so there is a trick you can say i usually use it so i just focus on that person and i was just you know keep on clicking so the moment he crossed me and he might be he was watching me or not i don't know i kept my position in the same way so that he will come to know whether i was not shooting him i was framing something else and i was clicking something else so yeah that is one of the ninja technique you can use during your street photography quickly jumping to the next photo is a very simple one but still it looks really good so i again this photo i chose so you can say there is a ca cafe coffee day sign and it is just you know a side of the road but actually the clouds the weather was overcast the building you know see the background it is like the this whole photo is uh, filled with you know some elements uh, that's why this photo is not looking really simple you can say or you know very very blank type of some negative space or anything this photo looks really filled with something so that's why see on the other side you can see clouds and other side buildings bushes everything okay coming to this photo so you can see this photo that it's a street light which i took from my this 56 mm lens and you know it is between the trees between the branches of the trees so that creating a depth and you can assume its height that it is far that's why uh, i uh, you know chose uh, this branches and leaves as a foreground so now let's see this photo and you can see uh, a leading line the divider you can see and it's a leading line towards the cycle so that's why i chose this one actually this frame i chose because of the background is very orangish some of the fallen leaves also so it is giving a, a different or good charm to this photo that's why i clicked this photo and it looked really good jumping to the next one is you can it's a very simple photo i captured this dog and this photo i selected for this video reason being you know this dog i don't think i think so he saw me that i'm you know sitting on the road and capturing him might be so he was running towards me so i kept my shutter on and i kept multiple photos from which i selected one which is looking really good 
so yeah actually i click i selected this photo i click this photo reason being you know sometimes emotions from the animal also looks really good so that's why street photography is all about emotions and stories so yes this is the reason why i selected this photo for this video so in this photo you can see these vehicles were stopped at the signal just behind one another so actually from one perspective it looking like th that these vehicles are stacked together somewhere coming to the next photo here uh, you can see i shoot the bus actually this this is the moment what uh, makes the street photography very spontaneous and very creative that i was just crossing the road actually i was going from one lane to the other lane and i was about to cross but this bus was coming from that side so i stopped there but i don't know i felt like i should uh, i think shoot this bus so i just kept the bush as a foreground and i shot the bus and you can see the bus is in focus and the bush or uh, as a foreground is totally blurred so yes it is same as getting depth but it is also looking good creating a, you know a very good frame finally we have reached the end of this video where the only last photo is left with me so it's a you can see the photo right now so this is a taxi standing on the side of the road and as the weather was really overcast so so uh, from some part of the clouds sun rays were coming so yeah this back part of this taxi is lit because of that sun ray there is no post processing nothing it is all because of sun ray so yes that is a thing which you have to see something so see sometime on the streets and find out so really good frame i keep you know the taxi on the side of the photo and remaining uh, part to show you what exactly the background and it is all about so that you can understand yes the car is parked on the side of the road if i could have only focused on the car and filled my frame with this car this taxi so you might not be able to judge whether where is this taxi is parked or uh, it is middle of the road it is somewhere else so that's why i keep this uh, keep this photo on you know one third of the frame and remaining two third for the background so that you can see where this car is actually parked these were the photos just you saw and these photos were looking really good i edited these all photos using my lightroom preset and if you want to buy those lightroom presets you can go down to the description and hit on the link i will put my uh, preset link on the description so don't miss it grab those it is on sale right now so I have captured lot many photos from the streets which you can see on my Instagram. So go and follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram handle you can see here. And you can go and check out many more street photographs there. So yes, this was a really hectic photography for me because first time I'm, I shoot, I did photo shoot during this afternoon. So I suggest you also to put yourself in some uncomfortable situation where you will learn something where you know come up with different ideas and you can do a lot better than usual what you do. So yes this photo I learned uh, something from this photography and if you have also learned something from this photography and you have liked these photos also so hit the like button don't, don't hesitate and uh, yeah to support me please subscribe the channel too so without further delay without having much fun i will see you in the next one